Good morning and welcome to another Hump Day Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Scott coming to you from Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. This morning I am coming to you from in front of one of our stained glass windows here in the sanctuary, this one depicting the Garden of Eden. For it was there that God created and made all things new. The prophet Isaiah writes in chapter 43, Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. He says, I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? New things. Letting go of the old and holding on to the new can be a challenge for us. That here we are a couple of weeks into the new year. Maybe some of us made resolutions, things we wanted to change, things we wanted to do different than we had in the past. And it's hard to, to do something new. But we read in Scripture that God is about doing new things, about recreating, about, about bringing newness and new life where it appears as though life no longer exists. And uh, God is available to do that in our lives. But it's not always easy to accept, adopt, and integrate new things in our lives. I'll give you an example. I'll let you into my closet. Not my literal closet, not where my secrets are stored, but... Um, my shoe closet. I've bought two new pairs of shoes right before Christmas. And I bought them because I wanted them. I, I like both of them. But they're both still in the box, have yet to be integrated into my closet um, and among the other shoes that I wear. Why? Well, as much as I want the new shoes, as much as I need the new shoes, it's difficult to make that transition. It's difficult to to know that I'm going to have to get rid of an old pair of shoes to make room for this new pair of shoes. And we've had so much rain lately that I haven't wanted to wear new shoes with the, with the sidewalks and the roads being wet and puddles and mud and all that. So I haven't been able to, to integrate that new thing, those new shoes, into my wardrobe. Certainly my spiritual life, there's challenges when I want to integrate something new, whether it's studying scripture every day, praying more often, being grateful or thankful, uh, just a different change of attitude. All of those things require effort, and quite often they require the loss of something else. This week we are doing something new in our chapel here at Ascension. Uh, it is being painted as we speak. There will be some new furniture brought in, a, a big screen um, to put up on the wall so that we can have classes in there, so that we can use that space much better and differently than we have in the past. But it does mean losing the space as it existed before. Up until now, it hadn't been used very often. And it's our hope that it'll be used more often in this, with, in this new way, in this new format, with this new furniture and this new setup. But we acknowledge that, that the change is hard and, and different. And for all of us, this will only be a success if we begin to think about the space different and intend to use it differently than we have in the past. Up lately, really, pretty much, it's just been a place where we've stored other stuff we haven't known where to put. And hopefully we can begin to use it much more regularly and vibrantly and, and actually so that it has a purpose, much closer to, the, to its original purpose than just a dark room at the end of the hall where we shove things that we don't want to have to look at but are not yet ready to get rid of. What is God doing in your life that is new? What, how is God recreating some part of your life, maybe your, your spiritual life, maybe your physical life? What's God up to? Are you embracing, embracing the new? Are you resisting it? I pray that this new year brings with it for you and for me an openness to new things, uh, to trying them, to integrating them, to, to thinking differently about things than I have in the past. I look forward to seeing you next week for another Hump Day. Hallelujah. <music>